Guys, today is an exciting day. You guys know these are the bioreactors. That's some of our life support for the fish. Life support for fish is incredibly imperative. It's literally what supports their life. Today is special because our life support is getting life support. Isn't that right, Tyler? Absolutely. Can you tell me a little bit about this? What is this thing? I thought it would be smaller, but it weighs about 70,000 pounds. So 35 tons. It's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. So you're going to pick it up on your back and bring it over? I was planning on like tilting it because it's got to go on that slab. And then so you can tilt it and I'll just catch it. All joking aside, guys, this is where this generator is going to live and it's very important for a lot of reasons you see because all fish like the stingrays that will be in this stingray tank the jellyfish that will be in this jelly tank whatever the heck's going to be in this marine predator tank and even the sharks in the shark tank all need life support they need moving water they need oxygenated water for us personally at the reptarium we've dealt with reptiles and reptiles can go a couple hours without power for fish it could be devastating like i told you guys this tank's going to be for spiny lobsters and if these spiny lobsters didn't have electricity for an hour two hours tops they'd be absolutely toast and that's something we can't have happen and while we've never lost power at the reptarium for a significant amount of time it, it's a lottery right you're playing a lottery if for some reason the power went out we'd at least have a backup to be able to to get our life support running keep the fish safe at least until somebody gets here and we can start figuring out is it a problem with the city is it a problem with us at least we can keep the fish alive until the power comes back on the only real problem is is that we are supposed to have a crane and if you look around there's not a crane I'm gonna call Lori and see what the heck's going on because we're obviously not going to have Tyler lift this off on his back hopefully a crane will be here soon but I'm gonna get in touch with Lori and see what's happening. Hi, Lori. Good morning. morning. Generator's here, but there's no crane, and Tyler said he can't lift it on his back. What do I do? I already talked to Matt about it. Okay, he's on his way? Uh, yeah. Okay, perfect. All right, cool. I'll see you soon. All right, so I just got off the phone with Lori. She said she's already talked to our contractor, Matt, is on his way here with a giant crane to get this 17,000 pound generator off of the truck and onto the platform where it'll live the rest of its life. Hey, what are you guys doing? We don't know. You guys looking at turtles? Yeah. Wow, Wait. that's so cool. We're weighing Ivy. Oh. <laughs> oh. Hi, Ivy. What are you guys doing? We're weighing Ivy. I don't know what the girls are oh, doing. Hello, Ivy. I was getting bored waiting for the crane to Oh, my God. 156. Hurry up. 156. Uh, Mike, Mike. 156. Okay. Okay, step down. I can't. She weighs more than Tinkle. Oh God. You guys. You guys are doing great. I'm helping. Guys. <laughs> I don't want to hold her anymore. You're doing great though. Uh, yeah, she hurts. I got the butt. That's she... a danger sign. Yeah, actually, you... you're right. I'm going to put that down. So you said the generator's coming today? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was waiting for the crane to show up. but it's, The it's... crane was here this morning. Mike, no, they your sent, your it they sent it back. Wait, the back. crane? Oh, yeah, the they crane sent the crane away. Wait. So now what? <laughs> well, now we uh, are weighing Ivy. Do you think we should measure her too? I mean, my Do I have to hold her for that? Yeah. Oh my God. I'll get the tape measure. A little in the way. You think? The crane was here earlier. From, yeah, so I made a phone call to find out where the crane was. The crane was here from 7 to 8, and then it got sent away, and this showed up at 9. I don't know. Honestly, this wasn't my design. <laughs> I wasn't in charge of this, so we got to talk to the people in charge. Thunderstorm. It's supposed to thunderstorm? Yeah. It's good time for a crane. And what are you doing right now? We're just, we are going to have to move the hurricane machine inside. A little rain is one thing, but a downpour I don't think is probably good for it. It's a hurricane machine, not a thunderstorm machine. Exactly. Do not forklift and under any circumstances. It says there, do not forklift <laughs> under any circumstances. I just saw that. <laughs> how do you, how did they think we were gonna get it in? A crane apparently, but. A crane? <laughs> do not forklift. Always exciting around here. We gotta get stuff inside because there's a thunderstorm, but we're gonna work outside installing a generator during a thunderstorm. What can go wrong? We need to get this in now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was perfect timing. I mean, literally the second they got the forklift out, it starts downpouring. Kevin, what are you doing? <laughs> All joking aside, Kevin, you look great. What's going on? I gotta cut some wires down real quick. Cutting wires down in a thunderstorm? What is going on today? Kevin! Kevin is crazy. You have to cut those wires? I'm alive. Did you just pray, cut, pray, cut? I like to live life on the edge a little bit. Oh my god, she's crushing me. Okay. <laughs> Oh my. I can't do anything. I get my rib cage. So for those of you guys that have big snakes at home, if you want to know the best way to measure them, this screen. is one of the most accurate ways. Accurate sure. and efficient. When the snake's stretched out, it's about as big as she gets. And you guys have a guess? 14. 11 feet. 8 feet. You think 11? Oh wait. Wait, that's too short. Donnie said 8 feet. She lost 6 feet. <laughs> if I had to take an educated guess, I would say what? 13 feet maybe? I, I'm going to guess 12 feet 3 that's inches. As deep as the pool. You don't have to touch her to guess. I do. I have to touch her. Oh I like God. her. 
14. 14? Wait, can I change my 12 point, what'd you say? I said 12 point, I don't remember. Okay, Three. I'm gonna say 12 point four. <laughs> got it? Give me this, I got my fingers on it. Ooh, that rope's looking long. Oh, it doesn't go further than that. Oh, no. 10 feet, 10 feet. Three and then, feet. Tingle, you wanna take her off? Tell me it's 13 feet on the dot, baby. It's, th <laughs> it's 13 feet on the dot. Let's oh. break it, go! I'm so good at these games. Okay, <laughs> let's guess this girl's girth. Are we doing the well. whole girth? <laughs> okay, guys, I ran back over to Legacy because I heard that the crane has just showed up. Look at that bad boy. Now, my only question is, how dangerous is operating a giant metal crane in a thunderstorm. The good thing is, is this really sets the tone for the generator itself. Got a thunderstorm, power could go out any minute. This is exactly why we're getting this generator today. Because of days like today, where anything could happen, we don't want anything to happen to our fish. While they're getting the crane set up, I'm checking on Alex's team to see exactly what they have going on today. And if you see here, it looks like they're actually trying to move the panel into the actual place. It's a very tedious process. One, I'm glad I don't have to do to get this looking like a real shark tank by the end of the day today. So what that means is while we're unloading this generator, Alex's team is gonna get this all set up. What an exciting day, guys. We got two huge things going on. The generator's coming, they're positioning the panels for the shark tank. So I'm gonna go check on the crane and we'll check back on these guys here in a little bit. And the crane's up. It's 130 inches and then it's 54 inches wide. 130 by 54 inches. And this will be able to power the entire the building. The entire facility, yes. Wow. Do you think it's dangerous to operate a crane during a thunderstorm? Absolutely. All right, Tyler, you psyched, dude? They're moving it into position. Crane's all set up and ready. What, do they have to They have to get it over the building and then? They're gonna have to loop it around the corner. They already cut some of the power lines down for us to get it. I don't know how it's actually gonna get connected. This thing is monstrous. Oh God, it's already swaying. I hate watching this, to be honest with you. Generator's up and off the ground. Now it's gotta make it over the building and to the other side, which is just terrifying, honestly. Oh, I hate it. This is so scary, guys, but it's almost there. We got it close to the building now. It's just gotta land on that pad and then we have to center it. Good job, Tyler, honestly. I'm just happy to help out. You're really pulling heavy weight. You got plenty of room. Oh, 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 oh. Right there is about all you got. Back in here. 12. 12. 13. That's 12. 11 and 3 quarter. Front and back. What are you? 20. 19 and a half. 19 and a half. Why don't we look in our window? Is that good, Matt? Beauty. Woo! See, I barely broke a sweat doing that. <laughs> break for lunch, right? Great job, guys. Honestly, that was awesome. Dude. Generator's now set. I'm sure there's a ton of electronic work that actually has to get done before they can actually get this hooked up, but that's one step in the right direction. Our fishies are going to be safe. That's awesome. I can't believe it. So, Matt, what's next? The electricians come and they have to wire it to the switch and all that stuff? Yeah, they'll wire it to the uh, transfer switch. Well, that was a painstaking process. Let's go check on Alex and the team and see how the shark tank's coming. So Dustin, how are we doing over here? Doing pretty good so far. What is this process like? I'm, I'm assuming it's very tedious. It is. Got to be spot on, perfect. Everything's got to be perfect. This wasn't where we needed that set. I oh, told I told them that that would be fine. <laughs> it's kind of blocking the entrance. Ah, it's up to the aquarium. <laughs> I mean, what a what a wow factor. Is this going to go around the pole? Yeah, because you see how it's all pulled Old. off and broken, yeah. So they're replacing that bottom. I don't know if you knew they were doing this today, but they're moving the panels into place for the shark tank. So before they weren't really set up where they need to be, now you can see they're right on the edge. I don't know anything about anything. Again, not my wheelhouse. This is Steve and Alec. I'm just here for the ride. -up. Yeah, me too. We're just riding along, yeah. watching. When they first put them on, they just got them up here. Now they're trying to make it so it's the real shark tank, kind okay. of. Okay, so they have to do this first and then they'll actually adhere them together. Correct, yeah. Okay. So they, they spent the last day and a half sanding all of this because it has to be within one five thousandth of an inch. I'm getting glad that's not mine. They even put the little pipe that goes into the first one. This is the sump for the marine predator tank, which we still don't know what, exactly what's going in that tank, do we? Yeah. yeah, not the one to ask. And then you like the placement of this too, right? <laughs> Perfect, right in front of the stairs. I mean, where else would it go? From here, it looks like there's no possible way this could get through, right? But now come this way, watch this. It looks like it can almost not get through. <laughs> <laughs> it can almost not get through. But it does look like it can get through, right? I was gonna get more theming to do. <laughs> Mishy Ahmed, see you soon. <laughs> Is that crazy? Okay, that's big. We don't do anything small here at the Reptarium. Everything has to be ginormous. Power the city block. Yeah, probably. It looks like it can. 
<laughs> it takes up a little bit of room. How much did it all cost? How excited are you about it? <laughs> so it wasn't in the original budget, so not very excited. Originally thought we were going to be able to rent a generator at least for a first year or two till we could like recoup some money and then found out we, that was not the case. Then we had to go out and price these. This whole beauteous thing with the slab you had to pour everything, you're looking at about 150 grand on top of the already busted budget. Not happy about that, but happy it's here. I mean, you paid for it, so you're happy to get what you want. Good Lord, this is so big. Things like this hurt to spend that much money, but the reality is we have to do what we have to do. We need to be able, in case the power goes out, have a generator because if we don't have power, fish can't stay alive. Reptiles can't be warm. So as much as this breaks my heart and breaks my bank, it's something we gotta do. Ridiculous! <laughs> <laughs> wow, the black metal is really pretty. Yeah, right? I feel so short. Like, I, I've always known I'm not tall, but. Four of trampolines so kids can bounce and see the spiny tailed lobster. <laughs> the reality is, you step back. Exactly. And you can see it. And Bashi even told me that the coral insert for this is actually colored and themed to look a lot more like deep sea. So it's not as vibrant as the other corals. It's a little bit more dull colors like to make that it seem. Top. Look at it. What is yeah, it like? It's like clams? muscles and yeah. barnacles and stuff. That's really cool. Yeah, it looks beautiful. It almost looks like some cool flower. Yeah, I don't know okay. circumferences anymore. <laughs> wow, that's dude, it. That's like oh, almost two feet. Oh, Melissa. What? I'm two doing feet. it. It's an I'm anaconda. They don't have feet. Uh, they use two feet. <laughs> that's true. I'm not winding that back up. I'm trying, what are you doing? Tat, tat, And it's. Oh, oh two, almost feet. two feet. Right on the dot. 156, 156 in weight. Oh. 13 feet long and two feet wide. Hey, listen guys, if you got an anaconda bigger than that or you know one, let us know because I'm pretty sure we have the biggest anaconda in captivity. I'm one, certain of it. One of the biggest. He always I, does this. Alligator like, Alley does have a bigger one. Uh, There's is like 330 pounds and giant. We're coming for you, Alligator Alley. We got a big anaconda. My yeah. anaconda don't. My anaconda don't want none unless you got bugs, hun. Uh oh. I think we should let the girls get her in the back. You guys, you guys, you guys yeah, gotta put her back. Actually, put her back. So, on that side. open for you. Yeah. Don't close it on your butt. Good luck. Wish she's a thick face. <laughs> oh my goodness. Ah, uh, 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 you guys aren't even there yet. You look like you're struggling so bad. Uh, uh, <laughs> she knows what to do. Got it. She's helping. Oh, Ivy. oh my God, she's gonna take you with her? Maybe. Oh no, Melissa. That's my leg. I don't need that leg. Good job, Melissa. Hell yeah. Good job, yeah. <laughs> yes. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, there's a playlist that you can watch all kinds of videos. You can also hit that subscription button. It would mean a lot to me. Also, hit that like button while you're down there. Have a wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember, be kind to someone, and I promise I'll see you in the next one.